British pubs. Why are British pubs so charming? Well, most are housed in old buildings which are often centuries old. You get a real sense of history. They are quaint, with low beam ceilings, roaring log fires, stone floors, low doorways, mind your head, and several brass embellishments. There's also that unique beery smell, mingled with other smells. <laughs> What leisure facilities are there in pubs? Well, there's often a fruit machine. This is not a healthy eating vending machine, rather a slot machine, much like those found in Las Vegas. Oh, and there's a dartboard where you can see drunk people throwing sharp objects. <laughs> Pool tables, table football and puzzles can be housed in a separate room. Oh, and board games. True. <laughs> Other traditional pub games are cards and dominoes. Loads of fun to be had. Here are some terms you may hear. Free house. A pub that is not owned by one particular brewery and can therefore sell beers by several different companies. Gastro pub. A pub that serves good quality food. Beer garden. An area outside where people can drink. In 1393, King Richard II of England ruled that landlords must clearly indicate that ale was sold on their premises or risk being shut down. Pubs were visible to inspectors who could check the quality of their ale. Did you know that William Shakespeare's father was actually an ale inspector as well as other things? I did not. Fun fact. You will notice that pubs have colourful signs and interesting names. Railway Tavern. Queen's Head. Rose and Crown. The Bell. The Plough. The Swan. White Hart. Royal Oak. The Crown. Red Lion. Number One. <laughs> there are hundreds of different beers available, but they fall into three main categories. Bitter, Lager and Stout. Bitter is the most varied category. It may be labelled as bitter or ale. Most pubs will have a mass-produced cheaper bitter on draft, possibly more than one choice. In the better pubs, there'll also be car scales available. It's good to try a locally produced one. Bitter is served at cellar temperature. Cool, not cold like lager. And contrary to popular belief, Americans, it is not warm either. Lager is a pale ale, usually carbonated and served refrigerated. It is what beer is like in most of the rest of the world. Stout is a heavy dark ale, like Guinness, which is the most popular. This you'll find is much better on draft than tinned or bottled. Cider is made from apples and is always an alcoholic drink in Britain. It is about the same strength as beer, although beware, some ciders are stronger than you might expect. So we're both nodding profusely there. <laughs> it is very popular in the UK comes as sweet or dry, and there are many other fruit flavours available. We need to make special mention of gin. There's been a huge rise in popularity in recent years of locally produced gins. You'll often see them listed on a chalkboard near the bar. A jug of Pims and sparkling lemonade served with fruit is a popular summertime drink. Wine is usually available in all pubs, However, in some pubs it might not be so popular, so it could be of dubious quality, or it might be a bottle that's been opened rather too long. Spirits are hard liquor. The measures are very strict, although you can order a double. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.